Hey guys, Chris the Ghost Doctor here. And last night I ended up answering a question about a online personality. I guess his name is Nick Rikita. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know who this guy is, but my reply ended up getting a lot of buzz. So I went, I told everybody that I would do a video on this and kind of explain things in a little bit more detail. So uh, they sent me some pictures of this guy back in like 2019 as compared to now. And if you see him back in 2019, he's very uh, full. He looks full of life. He talks very well. And now his face is very gaunt in his videos. I guess he slurs his words on the verge of passing out uh, from time to time. And people are, are like, what is going on with this guy? Because I guess he, he's, he's an alcoholic. Uh, at one point, he put a necklace on. And, and I guess there's some theories out there that it was cursed. And, and could that do anything? And yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm not going to say that's the complete catalyst of it. But it could have him putting a, a, a necklace on that somebody sent him that is cursed. Could have opened the door. And if you don't know how to properly cleanse yourself or your, your, your space... You know, once these things start to slip in, they can kind of like plant their flag and start to invade that space and wreak all kinds of havoc on their life. I think it, somebody told you he, he, he divorced over time, I saw. Uh, so, yeah, they can just get in and, and cause all kinds of havoc in your life. And I saw that he's an alcoholic, too, and that's kind of taken over his life as well. And the problem with this is uh, every vice, human vice out there, Drugs, alcohol, even porn has their own frequency level that attracts beings in. They have their own frequency beings. Uh, so, you know, you have these alcoholic spirits uh, around you constantly feeding off you because they love that. You know, they're, they're not living. They can't drink a beer. So they have to drink it through you. They're, they're feeding off you. And... This is why we see the life force kind of like draining out of this guy over over time because maybe that's exactly what's going on. Something is feeding off him. There, are, I've come up with different classifications of spirits, and parasite spirits are just one of those things. They feed off people, places, and things. So yeah, this is this is a thing. I, I I'm dead serious here. Uh, over time, he's got also gotten. Uh, talking about sex more and sex acts and things like that. And that's another attribute to this. You know, you get more guttural uh, in all your actions because you have no inhibit, um, nothing inhibits you. You just throw it all out there because you just keep moving that line forward like, oh, I, I got away with this. I could do this and this and this and this. Uh, we see that a lot in our culture. And that's, you know, I lost my father to alcoholism. So I'm no stranger to this. I've seen how this can wreak havoc. And I had a lot of paranormal things happen around me uh, because I'm just open to it. Uh, when my dad would drink, things would happen. I would see shadow people. I Like, things really got crazy. And... So, yeah, the guttural thing, uh, the life force thing, I uh, also just want to put it out there. When Back in 2012, my YouTube channel was the 55th most subscribed channel on YouTube, and that turned a lot of heads, and I had a lot of uh, prominence in certain circles. So I was approached by the powers that be, and they wanted me to be part of their club. Uh, look, they threw stuff at me like, commercial deals, celebrities, things like that, and I told him no. And they kind of ruined my online life after that, but maybe he was approached. Uh, may, you know, I don't know if he took the deal or not, but if he did, maybe you know there are certain things expected of you if you do take this deal. And maybe he just can't handle it, so maybe that's how, adding to the spiraling down that he's growing through. Just a lot of things. And I'm sure there's a lot of uh, demonic connotations to it. it. It doesn't necessarily have to be demonic. Just dark spirits, spirits coming in, feeder spirits, things like that. So just food for thought. I know a lot of people like this guy and, and don't like the way things have gone. You're going to see a lot of this with online celebrities and, and things like that. So you just got to be careful. And uh, I hope that answers a lot of questions. Somebody asked uh, something about... Uh, uh, spirits, you know, this is why alcohol is sometimes referred to as spirits, you know, the spirits that you drink, uh, because it does attract spirits in. This is this is coined by the Jewish um, uh, philosophy. You know, the, the rabbis back then would pray over their, their alcohol because they knew that it would attract certain spirits in. So, yeah, you got to be very careful with alcohol and any, you know, drugs, anything that's, that could turn into a vice. That's why they're called the seven deadly sins. Uh, they don't throw it out there for a reason. So I hope that helps. Thank you. Uh, follow me if you want to know more about this stuff and you have any more questions, please ask and I'll try to get to them.